I just I pray that this finds you with much expectancy as always to wait and expect God's miraculous signs and favor. And if you're experiencing some trials, just know that this too shall pass and that God brings so much glory and so much reward with trials. I don't know that that was needed and I pray that we die to ourselves so the Lord can speak through us. Um, I wanted to apologize for not making a video with me and Jerry lately because we have been extremely busy um, just really really giving birth to things that God has called us to give birth to and I have shared a, uh, so I have made some videos where I share that now I am making um, Bible and beauty tutorials and education that we can and I know you feel like I'm all up in your grill right here but I had to like angle it to where you can see both of us um, and we just went for a bike ride in San Antonio and so many things have been happening in our lives um, and probably I'm sure happening in your lives as well but uh, the camera's on us so I wanted to share um, many times like you'll hear like voices in your head good and bad and I've had many people that don't recognize which is God's voice excuse the shaking and turbulence because we're having turbulence on our drive home from San Antonio but um but the reason why I'm talking about this is because what God has been revealing to me lately has been like I don't know if any of y'all have seen that last year this time uh, Facebook be reminding you of memories like a year ago three years ago where you were at what you were doing what you shared on Facebook um that you were doing and sometimes you don't want to be reminded right there's been times I've been like I don't want to know that like I'm trying to get past that can we just leave that back there but what God has been showing me is that last year around this time, um, I was in a very trying time. God was really pruning me for things. And I'm talking about like going through a repossessed vehicle. Um, me and Jerry were friends last year around this time. Jerry was trying to be a friend to me, but I was so like stuck on, no, the devil sent you, you're not sent from God. That's really where, where, where I thought things were at. And luckily, by the grace of God, he stuck around to want to help me and just kind of encourage me and be there for me in where I would allow him because he always had limited access. He would go for full-blown access to then just like no access. But um, the point of this is that, watch it. The point of this is that last year around this time, I was in a very sad, um, depressing, not, I won't say depressing because I didn't let depression win over me. However, it was trying to kind of get to me. Um, I did have like suicidal thoughts like I thought of evil things of doing to myself I never acted on them however everything starts with the thoughts so you have to be very careful what you feed in your thoughts um, but a praise report is why well, I have many praise reports um, this weekend was really like an amazing weekend September was like a breakthrough month for us and Jerry had like something that happened so right now we're in the process of launching something that God has called us to launch if you follow my YouTube channel you're already probably on you're up to date in the current events if not you might want to go check them out um, but in the process of all that God has been revealing to me so much stuff like I've been having so much like so many experiences with customer service that are um, they're gonna get like rotten tomatoes and they're just not good experiences and I've been like why are these things happening like oh my god no not no Satan not today but it's not Satan. Like I, I truly believe that God is putting me in these experiences because He's trying to teach me something out of these experiences. And many times we don't want to like, we don't want to like accept or understand what we're going through. So we just kind of try to run away from bad experiences. But God is really trying to birth something out of those bad experiences. Seriously. Um, and in this weekend, I have like God had told me last year around this time, which October third, October fourth, and second, I believe. Um, when I was in that trying time, God had told me, like, you're going to read tears of joy for all the, the heartache and tears of pain and just betrayal that you experience. You're going to get joy, joyous tears. And yesterday in church, I had my brother with me, my mother. We had, like, a sleepover at my house. And um, just to have a home to where they could come and stay over to where, like, we're far from each other. Um, it was just a blessing. It was really breaking generational history in my family. Especially us being all at church worshiping at the church because um, we stayed they stayed over this weekend and Sunday we all went to church and we stayed up late just talking about God and stuff like that and in church like I had a moment where I literally like just 
got down on my knees and broke down in tears of joy that surpassed all understanding and I got on my knees because I mean I was literally shaking that ugly shaking cry um, I normally don't get down and worship God like that and I was like in front of everybody in the church like there was everybody was like there but it was just a moment where I wanted to really honor the Lord and, and you know as I pray I get on my knees and stuff but the praise report that I had talked about it, I think in one of our videos that Jerry had had uh, prophetic and I never believed Jerry because I was thinking like mm, that's not the Holy Spirit that's Jerry's desires Jerry speaking from things but I'm gonna let him talk about what it is that he saw because it's important for you to recognize that if you get visions or your imagination just thinks things it's not on an accident God puts these visions there and it, 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 some of the, the visions or most of the visions they may seem like impossible or like yeah right chill like you'll be talking to yourself but go ahead and share your um so it, it was about a year and a half ago before well i had told esme that i had a dream and it was her and i had a dream and we were at a church and we we're holding hands and um uh, we we're holding hands and we we're holding our hands up so uh, praise praise god and i remember vividly in that dream is she had this this ring on of the ring but I do remember that she had this big ring and I remember that and it was kind of like I was on the back side of me looking forward and I could see us both you know standing with our hands up uh, just praising and so yesterday at church uh, worshiping worshiping you know this is before the sermon even started this is just like I mean 19 shout out 19 church 1910 1910 Bernie great great uh they need a church in Bernie 1910 um, this was before all that happened and we were both like holding hands that had happened and, and I didn't realize it at the moment and I told Esme when we got out of church and I was like remember that dream that I told you I had I said it just happened and she was telling me that I was thinking it she too. was thinking it too in church yeah, and so yeah like, like I remember like God reminded me like he gave me a glimpse of look how good God is we're in like stuck in traffic going home because I was thinking this this king lovely king of mine i don't know if he can uh, multitask but we're <laughs> stuck in traffic now so thank you jesus for this traffic um yes i felt i the thing with jerry is that i could be upstairs getting ready and i'm like lord like lord i'm like my love like make me a huevo because <laughs> i'm always getting ready and i'm like make me some breakfast and he's like i'm down here i'm already i'm already making you eggs and turkey like he read my mind um and i mentioned before that we're in sync that god really like of course we're in sync because we're connected to our creator so therefore he shout out god be sending ideas and he'll be sending me understanding where i don't understand my king so um when he anyways the moral of this video or this point that i wanted to break make break is that god will put visions in your heart he will give you desires and i've always said that when he gives you these desires and these visions it's not in an accident he's giving you glimpse like little like um what do you call it when you go to a movie theater what do you have trailers Trailers. little trailers little previews of what your life could be so therefore you can make decisions to better yourself and try to get yourself there because god is a gentleman he respects he's just gonna say hey would you, do you want to do that it's up to you you have choice free will and it's up to you and i will say that every little decision that i made even when i didn't understand has got me to where i'm at right now which lord and esme is just seriously we're in labor girl uh, not girl but like this queen right here she's like busy 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 and i make videos and i do tutorials and i'm learning that doing beauty tutorials makeup tutorials while sharing the word of god it can be exhausting it's multitasking at a whole nother level because it's like trying to educate you on some eyebrows and then it's trying to tell you like what the lord wants and what happened in the lord's days and anyways there was there's just so much going on but i know there's people out there that you know they're hurting and i know there's people out there that could be where I was at last season, uh, last year, this season. You could be in a place where you just feel like, no, this is too much for me. I just want to abort the mission. Like, seriously, when I was thinking of all these depressing things, and even when I got married with Jerry, there was things that I was thinking, I was like, I could just abort the mission. And then I was thinking, like, on writing a book on aborting the mission. The enemy is a liar. No. So, if you're watching us, or you follow us, or you decide to take the choice, the decision to invest into our videos, I really pray that they bless you. I pray that when you finish watching our video, you learn something from us, whether you like us or not, or whether we annoy you or not. I just pray that somehow you get some type of work from us. The sun is setting, and we're losing lighting here. Um, but everything that is going on in your life right now is strategic. It's strategic. And most of the time, wherever we're at, 
it's consequences of the decisions we make and many times I got tired of my own crap so therefore I wanted to make a different decision and I will say that where my family my kids and all of us are at right now it's all glory to God because my daughter graduated from high school and everywhere that we're at even in the trials and even in the glories um, God knows exactly where you're at and what you're doing and I'm extremely thankful for God giving me the strength and the courage to share my intimacy that things happen in my life and things that I'm not proud of or even things that have happened or things that I'm not like sometimes I, I think do I want to share those things but I know that whoever's watching this you're not it's not an accident that you're under the sound of our voices um, God has blessed us to bless y'all and whether that's with transparency or whatever I just pray that whatever it is that you take from our videos that it's some type of education or awakening for you to know that you're not alone and that God is always at work and I will tell you that I've been praying for miraculous signs and wonders for some time now and today I kid you not um I went to my grandma's bible and I went to my grandma's house I went to visit and uh, I just went to her room because I wanted to look at something in her bible where I opened the bible it was just like it was on Queen Esther and it was on a scripture of um cosmetics it was a uh, Esther what was it chapter two chapter two five. one through five along there if you can't find it read your whole bible because you will get some knowledge and wisdom but i'm telling you like opening it there and where it said like cosmetics like a scripture on cosmetics like i was just like i literally got emotional teary-eyed because god is really like when you ask for him to show you miraculous signs and wonders he is like seriously like he has a sense of humor just the way you and i are like in sync with each other like you're in sync with God. Like, if you open the door to Him. And that was the first. I mean, even oh, there's been the many. Bike, like today, riding the bike, and then that particular day that we saw. Like, oh, we were riding the, the bike, concrete, and was, on the concrete, like, literally, I looked down, and it's Ruth in like concrete. So, if you don't know, uh, my line that I'm launching um, is an eyelash brand. Uh, my last friend but they will be named after women in the bible um if you want to know more detailed information on it you can look at my videos in the past especially the recent ones where i'm doing makeup tutorials because i am and these are like these are these are the malila lash i named these after my daughter if you can see however the website the website the the website where you can purchase your own will be open um and ready i believe we're on october 15th in the name of jesus um i'm still doing last touches i'm still praying praying over a lot of the stuff that i'm doing with them and um yeah god is so good you know i thought that god wanted me to exit out of the um did i turn this on Let's see and it helps a little uh i felt like god wanted me to like exit out of the beauty industry which i was so wrong it's too much that's not good lighting but um either way uh i'll see if we finish recording the rest of the video when we get to our home to our chateau uh oh that's a better lighting but either way there's been so many things and like right now i'm trying to think like of all the things that have been happening there's just so many things that happen but i want you to know that when god puts something in your heart he will like give you confirmation if you ask for it seriously he will give you confirmation i cry every time i get like miraculous signs and wonders because it just helps me confirm that i'm exactly where god wants me and everything that i'm doing he's like right there he's right there guiding my steps it's like a puzzle he's like so mysterious but at the same time when you invite him in and you want everything to be about him man he really like he's yes he answers abundantly sometimes you'll be laughing because he really does have a sense of humor and i don't know who needs this but whatever is done in darkness you'll have to keep living in darkness to have it um whatever is done in truth light and hope that's through god so i don't know what those were that was just something dropped in my spirit right now so if you're hearing this it's not an accident everything is intentional you're not hearing this by accident i think god strategically ordained for you to be under the sound of our voices and we never want to take that for granted we pray before we speak and i pray in the name of jesus that whoever's on the sound of this of our voices that you really really get you know word from the holy spirit whether it's from anything that we speak or just for you to have things that are between you and god and you get miraculous signs and wonders in the name of jesus so do you have anything you want to share God's outside of time. He yeah. interjects when he wants to, and when he does, you'll be surprised on what he does in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll finish the rest of the video when we get home because I can't remember. There was a bunch of stuff bringing back Holy Spirit. There was a lot of things that I had, like so much work. Oh, and for someone that's out there, oh, this is what I wanted to talk about. Um, 
Oh, I made notes. I'm talking about it in another video. But um, forever this is out there and you feel that, you know, something is being like someone's copying you or trying to make a replica of something that you created or whatever. God revealed to me today that when we give birth to a child, the DNA, like the fingerprints, everything, there's only one of you on this earth. And if someone is trying to replicate or duplicate something that you created, it can't be done. Because what comes with your gifts and whatever comes with your anointing, it, whatever comes in your purpose is tied to your anointing. So whatever it is that you experience in your life, it, it's tied to your purpose. Only you can bring it to pass in the way, shape, and form that you can bring it to pass. So if someone is trying to copy you or whatever, just know that they haven't walked in your shoes. And if God strategically ordained for you to do something, no one else can do it the way you can. So if you're getting advice, you know, from people that are trying to distract you from your purpose or you're getting invited places no, way more normally than what you would normally be, um, you got to pay attention. You got to stay awake because sometimes it could be uh, the enemy trying to distract you. So in Jesus name be blessed. Um, when we get home, I think we may make another video. Um, I don't know why right now my mind is like blank. But in Jesus name be blessed. We pray in the name of Jesus that... Um, you're blessed and that you're prospering and you're protected and that you're healing and getting delivered from anything that you need to be delivered from that could hinder your walk with Jesus. So, in Jesus' name, be blessed. Bendiciones para todos. you have anything you want to close with? Okay. I love you lots. God loves you. Remember, you were created to create. God is at work and reign responsibly because you're a king or a queen. Bendiciones.